Are you with me? What you just heard was Easton Corbin with you with you with me. This is J Red. Um, I know I went wrong, like I said I left an hour ago, but we have some. But I figured I'd stick around. Um, we have some breaking news out of the Buffalo Sabers and and all of our just Americans. Linus Allmark has been called up. Steve Cuddy comes in here and asks me, "Why am I not jumping up and down?" Well, on one hand, I'm looking forward to seeing Allmark because. Because he's been, he has looked a lot better than um, Johnson and Leonard. I guess Leonard and Johnson is either sick or injured. But here's my problem: it's too late for the Sabers. I mean, on one hand, I, I, I said forget the tanking because one, there's no McDavid and Eichel in this draft, and two, um, you gotta win the lottery anyway. <coughs> Dolan should be good on defense, but he's no McDavid and Eichel, so I'm not thinking about, even though the Sabres are close to tanking, I'm not thinking about the tank right now. I'm not going to root against the Sabres to get the number one overall pick. But my problem is, it's too late to go the other way. The Sabres need a ridiculously good run to get back in it. They are dead, dead last right now. They have 16 points. They trailed Detroit. To, they trailed the foul and wildcard sport by a lot. By they, the last wildcard team is 29. So this season, for all intents and purposes, is over. I want to see Olmark develop in Rochester <coughs> because they, they have a, they're in it. Yeah, the Sabres trailed the foul. Sabres are 13 points out of a playoff spot at the end of November. So, Allmark should... It should be exciting to see Allmark in a Sabres uniform, but it's too late. Let them develop in Rochester. Let the, Sa Let the Sabres fi figure their all out. Sab Sabres might as well tank. I mean, see who they get in the draft, but... Too late for the Sabres. Let them develop in Rochester. But Allmark's a lot better than Leonard and Johnson. Because Leonard and Johnson can't stop a beach ball right now. So, What are your thoughts? Hit me on Twitter at JRed Show. Um, let's go across the pond to the English Premier League. Because I know Helms is a big fan of the Premier League. <coughs> um, we saw a very good goal from Wayne Rooney from the halfway point. So it could be one of the best goals in soccer history. Um, very good goal in this game between the match between Everton and West Hampton. Let's see if we can find the video of it. Which premier side has the toughest December? Arsenal has a tough. Um, they got Manchester United, Liverpool, West Brom. That's going to be tough. It's a tough first rating of a 6 out of 10. Bournemouth has, um, I give it a 5 out of 10. You got Liverpool, Everton, West Ham, Southampton. Brighton. Oh, Brighton's got a tough. I give it an 8 out of 10. <coughs> Liverpool, Watford, Burnley. Um, Burnley has it. Leicester, Watford, Brighton. That's 6 out of 10. They're going to get some serious points over the next month. Chelsea gets a 5 out of 10. I mean, Crystal Palace gets a 5 out of 10. Everton, 6 out of 10. Huddersfield Town has 5 out of 10. Leicester, uh, 7 out of 10. Liverpool, 5 out of 10. Manchester City, 6 out of 10. Manchester United, 7 out of 10. Newcastle United, 8 out of 10. Oh, Southampton probably has the toughest schedule. Um, Chelsea, Spurs, Manchester United, that's the 9 out of 10. Stoke City, 7 out of 10. 
Swanson at 8 out of 10. Tottenham 5 out of 10. Watford, Watford probably has the easiest 4 out of 10. Um, West Brown has a tough 8 out of 10. I actually, take it back. West Ham has tough 10 out of 10. Manchester City, Chelsea, Arsenal, Stoke. Arsenal in a League Cup match, Newcastle, Brighton, Tottenham. But Manchester City has run away with the Premier League. They're probably going to win it all. For, I mean, that's the thing that turns me off from English soccer. I enjoy it, but I don't like how the champions are determined by that way. Uh, but fortunately, they have a Champions League to um, make it more... They have an extra, an extra competition to make it more interesting. Messi, Barcelona star thinks Manchester United are not good enough to win. So, um, here's the Messi Messi, goal denied in Venezia. I'm watching it right now. There's the shot. Nice. Oh, incredible save there. So, we've seen some great saves, but is Manchester United good enough to win? <coughs> they're probably not going to win the Premier League as they are pretty, I mean, it's still early, but they're pretty far behind. They have eight points behind Manchester City. I mean, they pretty much had to hope that Manchester City goes into a slump. I mean, it's still early, but Manchester City um, is run away. Will it be make or break month for the um, for December? So last year, Chel last year was a lot closer. Last year, uh, Chelsea had 31 at this time. Liverpool at 30. Manchester City at 30. Arsenal at 28. So, def this, this is definitely a lot more lopsided. But if Manchester City falls into a slump, Manchester United could get caught up. Or Chelsea. Arsenal's at 28. So, if I'm Arsenal, I'm probably not worried about the Premier League Championship to try to get to the Europa or the Champions League. At the La Liga table, where um, Barcelona lead has 35 points, Val Valencia is 31 and 1100. Real Madrid is at fourth right now, so they have a disappointing season. So, what do you think of, so of what's going on in soccer? Let's go over back to the USA. Toronto defeats uh, Columbus 1 0, and they will take on um, Seattle and Houston. Or in the West Final, Seattle has a two, <coughs> two nothing lead. It's a, remember it's an aggravated score of two games. Sacramento is the favorite to be an MSL as expansion. Um, a court observer, so unfortunately I'm not getting much detail on it. So, where do you think MLS should go next? Hit me on Twitter at JRed Show. Cup next is Jason Aldean with Dirt Road Anthem. He will he will not have to play the music of them. <laughs> 